Hi everybody, this is a tutorial video to get you acquainted with the Fat-Free Framework. I am Nanagon and I'll be doing a series of these videos to help you get better acquainted and familiar with a wonderful framework called Fat-Free. It's a simple full stack framework. It's not quite as complicated or have all the bells and whistles with other frameworks such as Laravel or CakePHP or Yi or Falcon. Uh, but it does accomplish quite a bit in just a very small package. You can use this as an API backend or a full templating MVC uh, application that can be complicated or very simple, as I'll show you in this video. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to get started by installing uh, Fat-Free with Composer. If you need help installing Composer, I'll include some links in the description of this video so you can get started with that. But really, it's just Composer require B Oscar. Uh, three, four. I've already installed this so it should probably pull from cache. The goal of what we're going to be doing today while this is running is that we're going to try and get an app going in less than 10 lines of code. There we go, now she's starting. Okay, so now we have our packages started. I already got a file started here. My structure, if you can see over here, is public and then index.php. I just need one file, that's all I need. So we'll start by creating a variable and the base instance is base instance. So this is how you start it off and uh, FW will become our fat free framework variable that we get to interact with for our application. So let's go ahead and add a route. We'll do this one as the get and we'll do the root path and we'll do a simple function. We'll call this because it passes back the fat free framework variable FW and we will we'll just do something simple like echo hello world as cliche as that is and then we do run so if we save this file we need to start up our php local dev server so hyphen s localhost 8000, this is the address that the local server is going to be pointed at. And then hyphen t, and then public, that will be the directory that it's going to be serving from. So we'll run this bad boy, we'll hop over here and we'll go to localhost 8000, and it says hello world. So if you can see this, an extremely simple example of how to use this in order to serve something. So we actually did it in seven lines of code and those are spaces in there and we could actually shrink this to even something smaller. So if you like my videos and the other tutorials that I'm gonna be doing, please consider subscribing and thank you so much.